Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. This is Legacy of Lord on a custom campaign for Warcraft 3. This is still the first map. Obviously, it's extremely expansive. Uh, what were we doing down here? Alright, there were some trolls and we got like a ring of protection. Uh, just getting back to it after a couple days of playing the last one. I do remember how worthless it was to come down here. So we got some uh, wizards down here to destroy and the worgen up in this area, right? So, uh, let me see if any of this is actually logged in our quests. Crush Ridge. Invasion of Amber Mill is what we're looking for, right? And then our main quest is the Worgen Incursion, and then we can still go to Alterac and take out those, uh, Mugthal Ogres. Crush Ridge Ogres, whatever they are. Um, what if we just right-clicked down here? We can just walk by most of these. I, I half expect to be able to finish this today. We'll see. Let's get going. Is there some we have a good amount of uh, slots open now. for items. I mean, just keep in mind, we're only on the first map. The items will likely only get better map to map, so I'm not too concerned about items right now. I would say almost anything we have right now could probably just be replaced. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and use some ultimates here. And uh, Doom is good. Mana burn this guy. He's dead. Okay, so we got a couple... Couple summons out. I was going to say, we don't have Nathanos anymore, so I can't charm these things. I was looking at the abominations. I thought, like, we should charm some of these abominations that have Unholy Frenzy on them. But then I realized... No dice. Murphist is looking good. Whatever this is, pick it up. Felsen. Cool. So, I think I suspected this, this direction was the only way to go. And it looks like I was right. Because I am an actual gaming genius. I try to find a way to sneak in some ridiculous hyperbole about how smart I am. Every single video, I guess, that's going to be a trend now. Alright, uh, I assume down here is where we're going to need to go. We have Doom up. Is this Kieran Tour? Yes, it is. Alright, let's just Doom this Sorceress. Oh, do they have one of these auras that force us to take damage every so often? Uh, I could also... Well, come on over here. Let's hit this Hydromancer. Felsen. Blast this priest. There we go. And now our Doom Guard's out. And we can't heal the Fel Guards, right? Yeah, so are we taking persistent damage? No. Okay. It's just a visual thing. It's not actually damaging us, which I'm I'm grateful for. Okay, mana burn back here. Felsen. Let's start getting some sludges. Blast this guy back here. Nice. Wow, we one-shot that guy. Liking this mana burn, that's for sure. I guess... I mean, most things are already gone, but we gotta get rid of this. It's burning our mana? No, it's not. No, it's just a Dalar and Guard Tower. It's not actually mana burning us. Obviously, if this would have been doing damage to us, we'd feel some sense of urgency, but that's not the case here, so I'm not too concerned. I don't know if they're... Building units, or these are all just pre-placed? We're obviously very close to where we need to be. Uh, okay. Archmage, somebody. Let's just go in and stun him, and then we're gonna mana burn him a couple times. And then we can cripple him. Right, and then he'll go down. Just throw down a war stomp. And then Felsen just blast him. I don't care if he hits my summons. Do we kill him? Eteric Staff grants the ability to turn a target enemy unit into a sheep or flying sheep for 60 seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I have to remember to actually use that, though. We can't... Oh, so he's a Death Stalker. He's technically undead. I, I don't know. Yeah, in retrospect, like, why would he be helping us if he wasn't undead? I was just thinking, like, why can we heal him? But I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I think our anti-fortified armor, our uh, anti-fortified damage is going to be a problem here. So who did I put that staff on? There we go. No additional. It costs mana, and there's no additional uh, bonus for that. Like no stats. So while it is nice to be able to sheep units, it's obviously going to be severely reduced against leveled creeps as well as heroes. So that's probably sellable. I mean, I can keep it or put it in a stash, I, I guess. So, like, usable items I should put in the third slot. I don't think we have anything usable on Murfist. 
All right, so that's that. We're gonna head down to the Worgen encampment now and just start blasting our way through some some of these Gilneas fools that have decided to impede on our territory. Uh, do we have to turn that in, or is it complete? I think it's complete, yeah. I mean, the, the reward was dropped by the hero. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this sub-map to do after we hit this area down here. I'm listening. Uh, just doom this guy. Silly banshees. There's been so many banshees, they just constantly curse us for the, uh... The mischance does get kind of annoying. Blam! Got him! Uh, I don't really need to destroy this stuff, do I? It looks like everything's pre-placed. We can come over and destroy whatever's down here. I mean, it doesn't take that long to destroy buildings. Obviously, the Doom Guard is contributing the most, and our heroes could be good. I mean, they are good, but, like, they do reduce damage against Fortified. So, that is the way it is. Blast him, kill him. There we go. Might as well just speed this up a little bit. We don't have any abilities that work really well against buildings, except maybe Locust Swarm, and then just keeping chemical range up on Felsen. I think we're maxed on all our heroes, yeah. For this level, at least. Again, I'm assuming 20 is probably our max level. Getting a level 2 uh, Doom Guard is going to be real nice. Just hit this Overseer. God, that's a lot of damage for a single spell. Nice, and our our Shadow Bolt's looking pretty good, too. And I guess we could just zap him? Never mind, he's he's gone already. See, like, these little areas I like to explore, but it's almost entirely worthless that I bother because it's just dropping items that are, you know, like a greater healing pot could save Murphus's life, I guess, but compared to all the other things we could be using, is it really worthwhile? Oh, they're running from us. Is this just going to be the edge of the map? That's fine. Just some, uh, just a nice little visual area to say, like, hey, there's still people living here. Which is weird when you think about it. Like, there are actual living people that are still living in the Playlands. And they're not Argent Dawn, Scarlet Crusade, whatever, whatever. This looks weird down here. Let's see what this is before we head to the Worgen area. Or maybe this will lead around to them. Obviously, that's a dead end, so that's breaking that stuff doesn't matter. Okay, our Doom Guard is ready to be... Resummoned, and we'll hit the resurrection stone. What's this up here? I'm oh, just a doodad. Blam! And then what's this up here? I guess let me check this real quick. I see a barrel. Maybe there'll be a legendary item in the barrel. You never know. Uh, Doom here. Should I really... I mean, should I be using Soul Link? It's a good spell, but it's just forcing us to spread healing out when we've got a really good source of healing, single target from Felsen. So, like, you know, who do we really need to use that on. See, if I actively use my spells, we're extremely strong. But, again, I have to actually use stuff. Looks like there's no way up here. Just double-checking. Yeah, this is just disconnected from everything. Okay. We're coming for you, dog people. Where did they go? I don't know, but they cannot hide forever. This could be our chance to figure out what they're planning. Hmm, it looks like the Worgen are indeed preparing for something as we thought. This must be their battle plans. But from who could they possibly take such orders? From whom? Hold it right there, forsaken scum. What did you think you're doing in our encampment? And who might you be? Ha, what makes you think I'm going to tell you who we are? You still don't get it, do you? When the time is right, you and your wretched people will succumb before the might of the Worgen. I highly doubt that. Whatever. Our primary force just probably destroyed your pathetic nearby base by now. I'm afraid you're too late to save them. <laughs> no! You won't get away with this, you bastards. Oh, really? But I'm afraid we already have. Now prepare for your death, miserable insects. Man, is Worgen her dicks? Uh, just do this. And then we'll soul... Wow, he's immune to magic. You gotta soul link him, I guess, before that happens. And we just blasted through him. Pick up this medallion. Strength intelligence could go really on anybody. 
not a bad item, but also sellable. Oh, there's our Doom Guard. How's it going, buddy? Oh, he despawned. Uh, do we need to go and try to save our allies, or... Let's check if there's anything over here. Well, I guess we need to get up here, right? Can we just teleport up there? I'm listening. Even though we don't have vision? No! Alright, we gotta run. That's too bad. Alright, you all can run up here too. I guess we gotta try to save the base. Kill all the worgen invaders. Alright, well, we're gonna flank them. We're not that far. You can see the little campfire, but you can't see the buildings, I guess, to warp to. Someone had left a... Uh, a few people actually left good feedback, which was to hire one of those pack horses or just a, a dread guard or something, and then uh, use it, just leave it near your bases so you can warp to and from. No, it's too late. The Worgen have already slayed them all. How did we let this happen? I'm sure what they've done here is just the beginning. More of them will come soon. I suggest we go back to Undercity and inform Sylvanas of what happened here. Wait, Dallow Dawnweaver. Are you alright? Ah, Jay, you can't stay here. You must go. The Worgen will come back soon. Please inform Sylvanas. She must know what the Worgen did here. Don't let them reach the Undercity, or all will be lost. I'll make sure the Worgen pay for their crimes, Dalar. I promise. Hit him with the the flask, the acid flask. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, uh, can we just warp back to the entrance? I think so. No problem. Yeah, you can warp to the stash. That's really nice. Maybe there was something back here, but it looks like we pretty much explored all of it. So let's uh, let's go. Well, I'm gonna quick save before we talk to Sylvanas, just in case this is the end of the mission, and Alterac might very well just be an entirely optional submap. But none of the other submaps have been completely optional, as far as I know. Well, the cave with Nathanos was optional, I guess, but the other two actual zones were not. Let's get going. Okay. Absolutely. Beam me up. Oh, and there's Sylvanas. Well, it might have been closer just to walk rather than do this. Oh. Oh shit. What have I? Let's get going. Well, I think we just have to wait. That's okay. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> uh, can we warp straight to Sylvanas? I think we can. Uh, and I don't need to sell anything. So let me quick save right now, just in case this will end the mission. And then we're going to mass teleport here. No so the Worgen finally decided to strike? I see. They think they can scare us with their pathetic attempts, but I will make sure they pay for their actions. Although it's really hard to tell what their schemes are, but we have no choice but to improvise. We better get our troops ready before they launch another offensive. As soon as we get many force as many forces as we can, the Worgen won't stand a chance. But before that, there's something we must take care of first. I want you to take this boat. It will take you directly to Hillsbridge Foothills. Once once you get there, talk to Melisara, and she will give you further instructions. Oh, I think we're ending the mission. I think... Yes, I, I think so. That's okay, we'll reload, and then we'll warp elsewhere. <laughs> uh, wait. Quit? It's no problem. Uh, my concern also is that Act 1 did not... Uh, Act 2 did not show up. Maybe it's because we didn't hit continue. I'm not sure. We'll try that after we actually finish this. So let's just go back. And we'll load. So Ultrac is an entirely optional area. I thought maybe she'd send us there, but I guess not. All right, so we don't want to warp to Sylvanas because that will end the map, which is unfortunate because that's the closest way to get to Ultrac. Uh, okay, so... My talents are yours. Is there anything that we could get to? No, there's nowhere we can warp that would stop us from... I'm listening. Okay, so let's warp... Here? 
Yeah, there's nowhere we could go that would make this any better. So basically, just right-click down here, and they'll figure it out. And we'll go through the fog of war and see what else we can find. But, like, all this crap, I'm just gonna ignore this. We don't I need to bother with command. that. I've been thinking I must hunt the Medallion of Courage, I mean, might be better on Jay's character for the extra HP, and then also... I mean, mana is always gonna be an issue on the main character because she's got the most effective spells, I think. And they all cost a lot. Did anyone get stuck? Look at Murph is just, just ahead of the pack. He's like, we're getting there, boys. Let's come on down here first. Let's see what this is. Obviously, we're not going to talk to Sylvanas. We can always just teleport to Sylvanas whenever we want. So, mud golems. All right, we're just going to ignore these guys behind us. They'll leash eventually. Maybe not. I'm <laughs> listening. Fine, I wanted a Doom Guard anyway. No, no, don't! <laughs> Not up there! Get him! There we go. I was gonna say, please don't pull me back into the other enemies. Okay, a bunch of dragons. Do any of them have mana? It doesn't look like it. Let's get going. Excellent. Uh Murphus has his thing. Chemical rage. Can we cripple these? They're not immune to magic, surprisingly. Best we can do is shadow bolt these. Wow, they've got a lot of HP. Let's just go ahead and use Locust Swarm. Uh, we got a big boy right here. Let's cripple him before- oh, he, now he's immune to magic. Alright, alright. Uh, well, there's really nothing we can do. We just have to auto-attack him to death, so. Uh, here, you guys destroy these little huts while we wait. can't believe I killed my Doomguard. It's unconscionable. These, I think the Locust Swarm does physical damage, so I think, I think that works. I mean, I think this is doing I think that did damage to the Black Dragon, which is good. I await your command. And he's gone. He dropped nothing except money. That's a little disappointing. I'm a listening. Tome of Experience that no one can use. All right. Heal her up. So stuff does drop out of the buildings at times, it looks like. I was starting to think that maybe nothing ever dropped out of the buildings. Also, is this a dead end and we're gonna have to go up and around? No, no, no. Okay, it's connected. I was a little worried there. More dragons. More skelly boys. Uh, let's just, let's just go over here. Uh, I guess... Well, let's hit this stone. That way we can always teleport to it if we get too far away, but... Yeah, I'm gonna assume there's really nothing else up here, so let's just head to Alterac. It looks like we've basically gone to every single port, part, port, every port of this map, every part of this map. There's a few things that are still covered up by the fog, but I think that's just unreachable areas, so. There's a little fountain there. No, don't really need that. Maybe I should have just played this on hard. The beginning would have been a lot more grindy, though, I think. But it'd be neat if we could improve it to, or increase it to hard now. When Mugthol was sent to Alterac to retrieve the crown of will for the Dark Lady, he eventually decided to try it on instead of returning it. Thus, he was able to free himself from the possession of Lady Sylvanas. Moreover, he established himself as his and his ogres in the ruins of Alterac as the Crush Ridge Ogres. My talents are yours. Wow, okay, so this is a pretty big map. I think this is probably going to be an instance like Scarlet Monastery, if I had to guess. Uh, my concern is going to be space, like, to, to pick stuff up. So, like, why don't we drop some of the less useful items for now so that we have some space. We also have the Inferno Stone. I'm going to drop this st st this uh, staff as well. There we go. So now we have some room to pick stuff up because there's three dots implying there's probably three heroes to kill, which all might drop something. At the very least, I want to get it out of here. Look, more undead reinforcements have come. Quickly, we must alert the base. Get back here, you sons of bitches. I'm pretty much done breaking barrels. We're not going to find artifacts and barrels as far as I know. I suspect I shouldn't have gone this way. It's a little little tricky. A little tricky area. All right, well, they will be prepared for us. I wonder if, if we were supposed to have tried to kill those guys before. Oh, well, didn't, also didn't mean to use his, uh, his ultimate again, but oh well. Let's do this while we're at it. So good. It's so good. Okay. Ogre Lord going down. Soul Link us. Murphus blast him. And then we should also get these uh, Falhounds out. Falguards, whatever they're called. Okay. 
So, do we have to kill literally everything here? It's cr kill Mugthal and the five heroes. So we can see five are revealed on the map, and then there's a base here. I wonder if there's a purpose to this base. Don't mana burn me. Let's I will mana going. burn you instead. Here. Take that. Give me some sludges. Mmm. So obviously I'm not I'm not too concerned about about these bases. We waited pretty long. Oh, I like the little ogre workers. The ogres got their own little tech tree. That's cute. So this might be a situation where it's not worth my time to destroy everything. But you know Big J's got to. You know Big J's got to do that. It, yeah, they're not building anything. And this might be an area where we can use to kind of cut through to different areas of the map. I don't know. So I sort of expected there to be something a little more interactable where, like, oh, you have to catch these guys before they warn their base. I don't know. It could vary. This is where having the pack horse would have been nice because we could stash extra items but then also uh, warp to and from different areas of the map. It seems like a pretty big sub map, but we know we're done. So once this map is completed, which, again, I'm probably just going to do this video... Um, Indeed. then we know mm, that the map is over. There are no other side quests. We can, like, we can just quickly eye over Undercity to see if there's something, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Looks like that Indeed. keeps going. Let's head over here and kill our first, first Ogre Lord. I'm a little disappointed that there's no Snarlmane. Is Snarlmane in WoW? Does he exist, or was he retconned out? Let's do this. And Soul Link. Does that hit Murphist also? He's not Soul Link. That's fine. Fine. I didn't want to Soul Link him anyway. Man, the Locust Swarm cooldown's pretty low. That's real nice. So the hero's up here. Are we gonna have to be destroying like a ton of these bases? Because this could get this could this could get pretty tedious real quick. Lots of enemies here. Mana burn and mana burn and just hit. Okay. Felson's getting smoked. He can heal himself, though, here. Heroes just target these. My summons can take care of this other stuff. And then we can uh, Locust Swarm again. Actually, no, we don't have to. Probably a little late for Immolation Aura, but that's okay. Heal yourself now, and then we'll heal Murphist next time. Getting some life steal on Murphist would be nice. I may very well just leave this base. We don't need to destroy it. We don't need to destroy it. Right, get in there. Lots of enemies in these bases. I don't know what I expected. Uh, we want to dispel the bloodlust, right? I await your command. And then we blast these. Muckrake. All right, he's gone. Tome of Agility plus two. Eat your heart out, Murphist. Hopefully Murphist can be used in the future. Let's get going. Okay. Nice. I, I kind of like the idea that it's tomes. I quite like the idea that it's tomes. That way we're not hauling extra items that I don't want to haul. I, I assume your stash carries over as well from map to map, though I am not 100% certain of that. I imagine it does, like it counts as its own little hero, but in any case, at the end of the map, before we talk to Sylvanas, we'll warp to Undercity, we'll pick up any items we want in the stash, sell other junk, and then go in and end that. I presume that the altar does not matter, but like I said, I'm going to leave these bases. There's really not much of a purpose of me scouring every piece of these sub-maps when we know we're not going to get any better items than we are getting from the quests. Just kind of curious what's up here. Is this another town hall? All right. Does Locust Swarm not work on buildings? I thought it did. It does not. And you learn something new every day, you know? Just ignore those workers. Let's just see if this is a dead end or not. Or maybe we can use this to cut through. Rock golems. Hey, maybe they'll drop a... A ring of protection plus one. It's exactly what we need at this at this moment, you know? Another issue is our hero is very dependent on things not being immune to magic. So say we enter an engagement without a Doom Guard out, and then whatever we're fighting is immune to magic, then we can't get a Doom Guard out. That's a problem. 
Murlocs. Hopefully this all connects around in some way, because this is a pretty big sub-map. But like I said, I'm going to ignore the, the bases. I don't need to sit around and destroy buildings for eight years. I await your command. Nice. Nice. Stomp them. Get them. All right. I got to remember to turn off. Always got to remember to turn off Immolation Aura. That's how you lose all your mana real quick. What do we got here? Rune of Healing. Don't need it. Just lots of Murlocs here. All right. Well, again, I don't know if this is like the only way to go or, or what the situation is, but... See, we also don't need XP anymore, so I'm slightly in more of a rush. I don't want to. I don't want to make this mission go longer than it necessarily has to, and I. I should have just come to Alterac earlier. Because, like, obviously, this won't take long for the lack of hero power, right? It's really just slowly slogging your way through it. And I don't want to say it's a slog, it's fun, but uh, we, you know, the final part of this map is obviously going to be... Oh, we can get some mercenaries. That could be useful. Here, Murphus. Let's just see what we got here. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we already have Command Aura, don't we? I doubt that'll stack. That's fine. We got him. We can't heal him, though, because the, the Vat of Acid only works on Undead. Wait! Is it Snarl Mane? No, it's a Null Overseer. That's too bad. Here, just murder these guys, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't got nothing on my whirlwind. Yes, Null Overseer. Kill your brethren. What do we got? <laughs> Ring of Protection plus three. See, I'm just leaving items that are basically trash. All right, that doesn't connect. I think we're just going to have to keep going down the left and hope that we can cross this river at some point and this wasn't the only bridge, because otherwise we're wasting our time going through here. Okay, and trolls. All right, Null Overseer. Sorry in advance, but you're going to die. Uh, Doom the High Priest. Okay, Warlord's dead. I'm about to get a Doom Guard. Wait, I don't think... I await your command. I don't think that worked. Oh, there's blue dragons up here. We should probably go and kill them too. Though the rewards for the last set of dragons were were very underwhelming, so I'm not too concerned. Oh look, I left immolation or on. Get out of here, blue dragon whelp. You ain't got nothing. Okay, there is another bridge, that's great. Mana. Nope. I'm I keep thinking Felsen is my hero, but that's also because the warlock defaults to a, a lady character. And I'm like, oh, it's Jay, but it's a lady. So it's, you know, not me. Let's get going. So and then I see Felsen and he kinda looks similar. I await your command. Uh don't be immune to magic. He's immune to magic! But why? I know why. Let's doom one of these. We can't well, this might be a little tight, but we'll see. I think they're all immune to magic. They're not. They're not all immune to magic. At least kill the small ones with spells. There we go. And then we just have to sit here and slowly just auto-attack this. I hope if it drops something, it drops down towards us. It did. It's a mana stone. Here. Here, Moifist. Get this. Uh, we can't pick it up. It's on the hill. Is there another big one? Let's get going. No, this one's just a normal, a normal person. Who's this up here? Musris, Musris, the the Drake keeper. Dude, I await your what are you command. keeping these Drakes for? Get out of here. Can we just attack these, please? Thank you. There we go. Don't dispel me. I forbid it. Shadow Bolt. He's dead. He's dead. Get out of here, Drake Keeper. Frost Gauntlets. Adds cold damage to the attack of the hero. Let's just replace the orb. Well, the Orb of Frost is great in terms of money, so we should probably sell that and we can get some... Uh, please don't tell me we can't pick this up. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's basically an Orb of Frost. See... I would rather put this on my main hero because of the intelligence boost, but giving him the searing blade... All right, we're going to have to juggle this around here. So put this on her. 
give Felsen the Searing Blade, and then give the Orb of the Forgotten Seer to Murphist. There we go. See, that also increases intelligence. The problem is, again, I don't think that the Searing Blade will stack with his Critical Strike, or at least I assume it won't. No Snarl Man, no sightings. I would be remiss if we had to kill him. Some of the comments told me there was no Snarl Man. I think it was Dimbass who said there's no Snarl Man in this campaign, so. It's too bad. True hero of the Forsaken getting left behind. All right. Good night, sweet prince, Noel Overseer. You did your best. Getting killed by a watchtower. I'm still not aggressively using my spells. I could use them faster, but like I don't have to, and I'm still a little conscious of mana, even though we get it back. We got this level one Brilliance Aura. You know, it's okay. Oh man, we found a little bypass. How useful. Should I just run by these guys? I'm leaning towards just running by him and trying to just get to these enemy heroes. And by running by them, I mean I guess we're just surrounded now. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's link. Man, look at Murphus going ham on that tower. Who said heroes don't do good against buildings? That was, that was me who said that. Man, Felsen took a waller and... There you go. He doesn't just drink the liquid, he still throws it at himself. Uh, no, this is not it. This is not what we're looking for. Just kill the marauder big guy. I don't know what his name is. I guess we could sneak around the bottom here. We don't need to do that, actually. We can go around the top. Indeed. On the plus side, again, we've cleared out a huge portion of the map, so it's going to be... I think it'll be a lot easier to get to where we need to go. I'm, Absolutely. I'm just going to make sure that we keep summoning our adds. Spirit linking them. That's why Felsen took so much damage, because we've been spirit linking. It's not really worth it. Like, these Felguards can just die. I don't really care what happens to them. Don't tell them I said that. Spill their blood and crack their bones. Alright. Oh, it's Mugthal. Alright, well. This is what you get for stealing our crown, dude. What, what was up with that? Dude, he is getting roasted. He doesn't even have a mana pool. Can we doom him? No, he's too high level. There we go. Firehand gauntlets. Increase armor and attack rate. You're up, buddy. Increase the, the chance of that crit. Attack rate by 20%. It's better than Gloves of Haste. So, yeah, let's definitely stick with that. This might have been the only way to get down here, actually. So I think we made the right decision. So now we just backtrack and we have to cross the bridge that we found. Which was up here, right? Yep, and then we can come down and, and hit this one. And then we have to make our way over to the left side of the map, which may... We may have had to, like, go through these rocks, which I gotta remember not to forget to do, because they are there. I see those rocks. This episode will be a little longer than the last couple, just because, again, I'm, I'm gonna try to complete as much as possible here. I should have just finished the Silver Pine Forest quest last video, but... I'm pretty poor at keeping track of how long my videos are going. I need to... I mean, I look at the clock, usually. But again, it's just sort of remembering. <laughs> uh, this is our—is this our current resurrection stone? It's glowing, right? Or is, yeah, no, it's the, the one that's glowing is our current one. Just ignore this stuff. Uh, none of the other ogre bosses should be as challenging as uh, as Mugthol, I presume. So, all right, we're getting gang banged here on both sides. Just go ahead and use some ultimates. Just ignore the trolls. I guess they're getting aggroed too. It's because of the locust swarm. So we might as well kill them now. Let's get going. Ice troll warlord. I'm get him! Get him to drop that shitty item. He doesn't even drop anything. Alright. So I usually, when I start these campaigns, I'm like super obsessed with making sure that we are collecting like everything possible. And then, unless something is like very well hidden, it's probably not worth while replacing. Like, a lot of the items we got from Scarlet Monastery were too good to replace. Also, I'm a little worried now that that, 
there's no easy path to where we need to go. This is strange. Maybe we'll have to go down there later. Because I just tried auto attacking over to this and it wasn't clear how we get there. It's got to be warped. It's got to be a warp. Well, maybe not. Kind of hard to tell. Loss of attack plus three. I mean, think of it this way also. Even trying to... Even trying to save money... To, you know what? I bet we have to go through this weird fire area and there'll be a warp. But uh, even trying to even trying to save every item in order to sell it for tomes, there's a cooldown every time you can buy a tome. I think it's like 30 seconds to a minute. So, like, I'm not going to min-max and buy as many tomes as possible. I'm just going to buy one last round by the time we get out of here. So, like, stuff like that, I don't... It's not important to me. It, it, it is at the beginning of the campaign or the beginning of the mission. But at this point, like, it, it just doesn't matter. I'm more focused on not taking too long to be able to do this. I guess let's check up here. Don't make me kill Snarl, man. Ah, oh, thank heavens. It's just a Null Warden. He's gonna get doomed! Is he doomed? He's just, like, in the back? No, he never got doomed. Yes, doom the Mud Golem. I thought you were supposed to be immune to magic. Uh, this does not look like what- well, it's kind of hard. This might loop around. Again, I'm looking for a... a teleporter, a way gate. Just want to keep my eyes open again. I imagine that this, like, circles around and connects. We're very close to the other two right there, so that'll be pretty easy to warp back. Well, we can't warp, but it should be easy to get back to. And this all sort of connects to where we've been, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. This already this connects to a little base that we already partially destroyed. So let's just head up here. Feels good to uncover as much as possible, I guess. You called. Yeah. Okay. So we've already been there. Those oh the ogres in the bases may actually respawn still. I'm not sure. But yeah, this looks suspicious. So obviously we're gonna go there, and it might warp us to this bottom right guy. Indeed. Yeah, this is way bigger than Scarlet Monastery if this is considered, like, its own instance. I'm not sure. I was looking at the patch notes, actually, between this video and the last one that I played, and it looks... Oh, see, no, this... I don't think there's any way down here. There's just a big, tall thing in Alterac that you can't get to. All right. Uh, let's go up here and circle up to this guy. That's my plan. So let's just... Boom. Make your way up there, boys. I don't really remember what this was in Alterac. But it looks like there's no way to it. I'm, like, double-checking now just in case I... I steer... Because I have a habit of staring right at something and, and missing it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, we've uncovered the entire middle of the map. Was there a way to get down here? There was a bridge here. This would have led straight over to this guy. Actually, no, it wouldn't have. It's a couple different ways to go here. That's why it's, you know, who knows. This may connect around to those rocks, so we don't have to worry about the rocks. Or backtracking to the rocks. But the thing with the rocks... Are we, are we stunned? Okay, yeah, we were stunned. The thing with the rocks is that... Oh, I should have healed my hero. Is that we can easily warp back to where those rocks are. Okay, I hate these Crush Ridge Maulers. You're gonna get doomed. He can't be doomed. Please mur murder him. Okay, he's gone. Pick this up for the mana. More Watchtower. We could run by these also, but I don't want to. Again, I don't want to be like be super rushing. I want to be diligent, but I'm not gonna stop and destroy entire enemy bases and stuff like that. Here is yeah, Grelborg, I guess. Okay, use this and get some snow corpses. I refuse to believe that that's true. Stun the hero. Uh, heal Murphus. Get some sludges. Apparently these sludges become really good. Looking forward to that. 
Uh, I didn't put any points into it. I should have, but his Q and W are both really good also, so I don't think it really matters. Tome of Intelligence plus two. That's me. Pick it up, buddy. All right, we don't need to... We don't need to do this. This is fine. This is a dead end. Wow, so yeah, I think we would have had to break those rocks to get up to the other ones. You know, we'll do that one last. We'll do that one last, because I think... Ah, see, I really should have heeded people's advice, which was to get an extra unit so that I could then warp to it. Because, like, now we got to backtrack through the area we've already been, unfortunately. So let's see where we path if we A-click this. This might be just a little hidden... Well, nope, it leads... No, it's a dead end. Okay, well, obviously, we'll come down here and check what this is on the way out. It's probably not something super spectacular, but in any case, uh, we got what we needed from Mugthol, which were the frost gauntlets. And then the firehand gauntlets. All this stuff is really, really useful. We'll sell the Orb of Frost. Um, hmm. I'm listening. And again, it's just the over the overlapping... Uh, what is it now? Is this on or off? Okay. It's just the overlapping uh, orbs that I get a little confused about. I've been thinking. Spiders? Ha! Huh? Purge them. Purge them. You know, I don't really have a fear of spiders. They, I, well, it's hard to say. They're creepy, but I, I de they definitely do more good than harm. Gotta like, get over the, the spookiness of them. Just don't let them... It's Targ! Don't let him. uh... Ah, he doesn't have enough for Whirlwind. This would be a perfect Whirlwind! Let's get going. Sludges. Sludges. Spiders for a second, and then I got distracted because there are a billion enemies here. I'm listening. Blast him. Blast him. Oh, my hero, no! Just kill the ones that you can. Oh, we're right, we're right here. Wow, that was good. Get mana burn, Targ. Uh, I meant to use Soul Link way earlier, but never did. All right, three of five. Uh, just pick this up, Jay. It doesn't help that we're getting hit by flipping towers forever. It's like nonstop towers. Felson's got a lot of mana. That's good. All right, ogres, live and let live. We'll destroy your heroes, but then you know you can stay here and keep doing whatever it is you're doing. How about that? I'm gonna right-click down here and see where we go. Looks like we're gonna have to kill some of this stuff. I think we just have to wait and get some mana back here. Also, our Doom Guard has is, is been dead for a while. Dude, get out of here. I I told you, we would le we'd leave you alone. You fools. All right. More gnolls. Not Snarl, man. Just run by these. This is fine. They're, they're little guys. They're just a little guy. We're going to right-click down here. Oh, and we still have to figure out how to get to this one. That could be a problem. So it might, you know, what? maybe it's the way gate behind the rocks. How the heck do we get down there? I await your command. Uh oh. Oh, uh, we got some exploring to do, boys. There's got to be a bridge. I don't see a bridge. Hmm. Well, let's look for a way gate. Or a lever that activates a bridge. Aha! Okay. Well, that's the answer. We can use this to fly to both spots. We can also use this thing to scout and see if it's worthwhile doing anything. Come on. Uh, I would like... Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Please give me a Doom Guard. Poor Felsen. These Maulers are no flippin' joke. 
Uh, let's link, 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 link. There are so many. Why are there so many enemies? There are a billion of them. Ah, there's so many. Back up, back up. Where's the Zeppelin? We may have to back up here. It's also very unfortunate that the last resurrection stone was like way elsewhere. There are so many enemies here. There's got to be a better place to land to do this. Maybe up here. Oh, well, there's a way. There's, well, mm, where does that lead? Well, we're going to find out. Oh, that's the hero. Just land here. The Zeppelin will survive, and we can always buy another one. I await your command. With the hero dead... It's funny how earlier I was like, oh, we're not going to have any problem with this. Let's get going. But look at this. It's a pretty tricky... Uh, tricky little sub-map here, comparatively. Yeah. I mean, when there are like a billion enemies that's coming and surround you, then yeah, you're going to have a problem. No doom. So many enemies. Murphus, save me, Murphus. Immolation aura. Kill these maulers. They're the worst. All right, Felson. Why can I not heal Murphus? Turn this off. All right. There are so many... Towers. I think the towers, surprisingly, are what are causing us the most grievance. Giving us the most problem. Alright, there we go. Looking good. Attack this. Doom this guy quick. Give me a doom guard. There we go. Alright, we're good. Poor Felsen needs some mana, but otherwise we cleared this base out. Good lord, that was a tricky one. And then we can use the, uh, the Zeppelin to get over to the last boss. Let's see where this takes us. Ah, well, this is kind of what I expected. I was going to say those rocks. Remember, I even yeah. said there's probably a way gate behind them. Mm, that sounds logical. It does sound logical. I'm just going to... I don't know what's back there, and it doesn't really matter to me. So let's just... Uh, can we walk here? Let's try it. Alternatively, we could fly. Flying makes way more sense at this point, because we can just... Mm, Are you threatening me? You he's he's uh, concerned, because we're trying to take his job. That's why I said, Are you threatening me? That's fine. We can fly faster. So just don't fly over towers. All these jerks giving us a hard time. Yeah, those maulers, they're no joke. What is this? Voodoo Lounge. Nope, not that way. What's this right here? Healing wards. Those actually, that actually would be pretty nice. Is there going to be a good spot to land here? Maybe just like smack dab in the middle of this base. We gotta find a spot where our Zeppelin won't get shot down while we're unloading. Got it. If we could end up right on... I think I think we just do this. I know this is not the best of spots, but I... Just dispel. Our mana regen on our main hero is not bad. I don't think Crown of the Deathbringer costs mana, so we definitely want to be using that more often. Okay, and then once this is all done, we can warp the heck out of here. Uh, whirlwind now? Probably didn't need to do that, but... Oh well. Also, the Maulers are too high level to, uh... To use Doom on. So that's a bit of a challenge. We need Felsen to get some mana back. Kill the individual units, and then we'll go for the tower. At least Murphus has a lot of survivability because of the items we've stacked on him. I do like, though, how at the end of this, though, we're facing a, a higher challenge. I did feel like this was, you know, is becoming a little too easy. But that this is sort of like an optional, almost challenge area of the map, which is cool. These Maulers, they, I mean, they have a mana pool so you can mana burn them, but they have Shockwave, which is pretty rough. 
and a ton of HP. Okay, boss. Mm, that sounds logical. We're coming for you. Well, you just use Felson's ultimate. Indeed. Uh, this one. I await your command. And then we want to, yeah, debuff all of these. And then Murphus just keep going for the boss and turn on Immolation Aura. How about that? I think we just want to target the boss for now. Let's save our heals. And then just keep debuffing the Bloodlust. That helps a lot. There we go. Uh, I, again, I don't know if Murphus is sticking around. We already gave him some Agility Tomes, so there, we'll, we'll give him that one right there. And then we are going to warp the heck out of here. We did uncover most of this map. There might have been one little area behind those rocks, but I, I really can't imagine that being anything Excellent. worthwhile. So let's get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of Dodge. I await your command. Uh, let's just let's get going. pick some of this stuff up out of the stash. I must hunt soon. There we go. Man, I hate that it takes an item slot I hate that it takes an item slot just for the mass teleport book that we got. A lot of the time, like, I've played a lot of other missions where you get little books that have other spells in them. I'd love to just see those added directly to the command card. That would be so much more convenient. Uh, I think maybe the concern is that it's too powerful, but I don't really think so. Uh, let's just go ahead and... Well, I guess we should spend our money, which we don't have a lot of it, but we might as well. Oh, we want to sell the Orb of Frost. That'll give us enough for three tomes. So we do this, and then we buy... Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Then we warp to Sylvanas, and we're all done, boys. Guess it doesn't really matter who's holding what. I, we've got other stuff that is sellable, but we can do it next mission. Hello, Sylvanas. We'll rewatch the end cutscene, I guess, and we'll hit continue this time. So the Worgen finally decided to strike. I see. They think they can scare us with their pathetic attempts, but I will make sure they pay for their actions. Although it's really hard to tell what their schemes are, but we have no choice but to improvise. We better get our troops ready before they launch another offensive. As soon as we can get... As soon as we get many forces as we can, the Worgen won't stand a chance, but before that, there's something we must take care of first. I want you to take this boat. It will take you directly to Hillsbrid Foothills. Once you get there, talk to Melisara, and she will give you further instructions. Were we supposed to turn in a quest for those ogres? I think it was marked as complete just by killing them. We, don't, we didn't have to go back to the Banshee in Undercity. I'm pretty certain. I like how we shared a knowing look with each other at the end there. Big J and... Sylvanas. Alright, cool. We finally completed map one of Legacy of Lordaeron. Now, again, that Ultra X section was pretty tricky, so I, there's definitely a capacity here to be surprised and challenged as we move forward. Uh, my concern is that I think someone in the comments had mentioned that you're going to need a lot of anti structure damage, and we don't have. I mean, other than our Doom Guard, we're not really doing good damage to fortified armor, so uh, we'll do our best. We'll see what's happening uh, coming up next time. Alright, bye everyone. Thanks for watching.